Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through the record temperature option on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. This is one of my favorite features on these Garmin watches. What this does is it gives you the ability to decide whether or not when you do a given activity, does it record the temperature of that activity. This is not body temperature, this is actually the temperature that is recorded from your thermometer sensor which is on the right hand side of the watch. And you might be sitting out there wondering why in the world would I want to use this Personally, I kind of like it, if nothing else, just for the hunt activity. When I go out and I do a hunt, I think it's kind of cool to look back in my Garmin Connect app, look at the activities and see what was the temperature on that given hunt. But you could use it for various other activities. I'm going to show you how to get to this setting. We're going to start by pressing and holding the middle button on the left-hand side. It's the menu button. There's a couple different ways you can go to it. I'm going to take you through it through the menu. You could also do it right before you start the given activity. Once we're in our main menu, we can use the up or down button. I'm going to use the down button. We only need to go down a few values until we get to activities and apps. We're going to press the GPS button. It's the top right button to get into our activities and apps. I should also mention this is a setting you could obviously adjust on the Garmin Connect app and then simply sync the changes over to your watch. Again, this setting is per activity. So for example, if I go do a walk activity, maybe I don't want my temperature being recorded. Whereas if I go to a tennis activity, I want it recorded. You can totally set it that way. Again, this setting is kind of like your GPS settings or your heart rate settings. It's going to be per activity. Let's go down and let's pick one of these. Let's pick tennis, for example. Choose the given activity by going to it and then pressing the GPS button. When you get into the activity, the very first option you will see is the settings for that activity. So in my case, this is going to be tennis settings. I'm going to press the GPS button. Now we're into the settings for that given activity and we can adjust them. We're going to use either the up or down button and we're going to go until we see a value called record temperature. I think by default from Garmin, this feature is going to be off on your activities, but if you want to turn it on, you can simply press the GPS button to toggle it. It's either off or it's on. There's no additional settings to that. Once you're done with your value, you can simply press the back button. You can always press and hold the menu button to get back to your main watch face, or you could have simply sat and pressed the back button several times. This is not the weather, this is the temperature from your temperature sensor. What I'll do now is maybe attach some examples so you can see what does this feature look like in your Garmin Connect app or in your Garmin Connect account when you do an activity with this on versus with it off, but that's how you control it on your Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. Okay, so as I mentioned before, now I'm in my Garmin Connect account. Let's go look at some activities that had this feature on and had them off. I've got a couple different tennis activities here. If I click on this first one, we can see my map here. You'll notice that tennis is not a very good activity to have GPS turned on because you're basically going to end up with a map that looks like this. Uh, GPS is another feature, just like the record temperature, that you can turn off for a given activity. I should probably turn it off for tennis. When we look at the map, we can see a temperature value up here in the top right. What this is, is this is the weather value from the day that I did this activity. The weather value comes from your watch's connection to your cell phone. And it's basically reading a weather forecast from the nearest uh, weather station connected to your cell phone. Really has nothing to do with the thermometer sensor on your watch. If we scroll down, we can see a couple different charts here. We've got speed, we've got heart rate. If we go further down, we've got some other values, distance, training effect, pace, intensity minutes, but we don't see anything else regarding temperature. That's because I had the record temperature feature off on this activity. Let's go back to my activity listing and see if we can't find one where I had it on. I think this is one. Again, I've got my map here that's showing. It was another tennis activity. You can see on this day, I was on a different tennis court than the previous day. But if we go down, it's a little bit different. We still have our weather value like we saw before. Again, that's coming from the uh, weather widget on our phone. But we have speed, we have heart rate, we also have a temperature graph. And that is coming from the record temperature feature that we turned on on the activity. You can see that the average temperature during that activity for me was 89.6 degrees. Again, this is not body temperature. This is reading from the thermometer sensor on the watch. Also, if we scroll down, we have the same analytics or data values that we saw before, but we also have this section over here that records temperature. What was the average temperature during the activity? What was the minimum temperature during the activity? And what was the maximum temperature during 
the activity. Again, whether or not it makes sense to put it on or not, but if you're going hiking up in the mountains or you're going somewhere where it's really cold or you're doing fishing or hunting, I think it's kind of a cool feature uh, just to give you a little bit more data when you look back at those given activities. Anyway, that's a quick look at the record temperature feature on the Garmin Instinct 2X watch. Hope the video helps.